Well, welcome back, my fantastic artistic friends. We're ready to do a Christmas painting. It's that time of year. So we're going to paint on this big black canvas. Well, actually, it was a white canvas. I masked off an area, masking tape, and coated the whole thing with black acrylic paint and allowed that to dry completely. What you can't be doing there, we're just coating the top part here and around the border with some, some linseed oil. Just a very thin amount and then just rub it away. Okay, just take off the excess linseed oil. Okay, uh, down here I've put a little bit of a path. We're going to do one of my favourite paintings. Okay, just get off any excess linseed oil out your paintbrush and we're going to go into some grey paint. Okay, I'm going to take a nice light bluey grey made from uh, Prussian blue, burnt umber, and a lot of white. Okay, and we're going to hit the canvas round about here. Okay, now it looks dark and everything at the moment. But when we're done, it won't do. It won't do at all. All right. We're going to have some nice bright lights as well in this. And we may even paint a wooden border. We don't know yet. We don't know. A couple of my favourite paintings all combining into one here. But all I'm going to do is just put some, some grey blue colours up in the sky. All right. Just to give it a little bit of a feel that there's some wintry movement going on. Okay, just a bit of wintry kind of movement. I'm going to change the flavor a little bit more blue into this one. And uh, we'll just add that up there as well. Okay, just like so. Now maybe grab a little touch more and just pop it in. We're going to have some trees into winding out the border. Lamplight, snow path. A snowy path, yeah. I've said that properly, yeah. Okay, i said it properly, yeah. Snow path, okay. All uh, right, so we'll just tease that in and blend it across. Now, over here where we've got the little light spot, that's where I'm going to have the lamp. Okay, and I'm going to have another one down there as well. So I'll just tease that in like so. Just paint straight the way over. All right, now look, we can take a bigger brush. Okay, let's grab one of these. Make sure there's nothing on it. No, there's not. And I'm just going to go over the whole thing and blend and blend now if you go outside your border like into the area here don't worry about that because i am going to paint over it okay i am going to paint over that at some point usually i like to mask it all off and then have a nice big border on but today if we paint into it we paint into it we're also going to do a little bit of splatter painting or spray painting where we'll put some snow on the canvas because it's coming up to Christmas. I hope it snows really, really heavy as well. Okay, we've got that on the go. I'm going to take a, let's just use the same brush, just wipe off any excess. And I'm going to take a little bit of a darker colour. This is just a, a purpley, bluey grey colour. And I'm just going to put a few hints of darkness up here. Okay, just a few. Just skip them into the sky like so like that all right there we go and then again back with a big old bl blendery kind of brush and just tease it in okay the more misty and murky it looks the better the painting is to be honest we don't want to tell any big detail just enough just so we know that it's there's something up there okay like that and it also adds a touch of warmth so the, the purple colour to what could be a pretty cool cold painting and we don't want it to be cool and cold do we we want it to warm us up okay right let's take let's take this oval brush okay it's nice and dry and i'm going to go into the same colours okay but we're going to add more paint okay so if we go like that we've got more paint on same colour just more paint so it looks a bit darker okay and we'll just do, put a couple more of these. These are background trees. Okay. Right where there's light will be. So we'll, we'll just skip a little bit there. Uh, maybe up here like that. That easy. That quick. You can have some background material that you've got to look for. You've got to look for. But it's there. It's there. Okay. Right like that. Got to stop the canvas from vibrating. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take that down, a few bits and pieces there, and then I'm going to change back to the blender brush or the brush that we used to blend with. In fact, I'm going to get a touch of white on that. 
just a touch of white okay and i'm just going to hit the base of this there and swirl it up okay give the indication of a bit of mist down into the base of that tree or two there flip the brush around and we can use the other corner like so tease it up tease it up really blend it really blend okay like that Okay, down here, we haven't got much linseed oil, so I may put some on at some point if it gets a little bit hard to blend. But that looks all right from where I'm stood. What's it look where you're stood? Okay, so we'll tease there, like that. Okay, just get rid of that brush, get rid of that brush. Okay, back to this brush, and I'm just going to take some of a different colour grey, basically different proportions of the blues and browns okay you can use black and white if you wish but i like the mixing them with the, the blacks and browns now uh, sorry the browns and blues okay and we'll just chuck in something like that probably can't see but it's there okay just a little bit more material for us to work with okay just that like that all right that looks a pretty grim gray sky yeah all right so we're gonna have a bit of a bank here so just let me just sketch in where i want something to be there and there and then the path is gonna go there like so and we're gonna work a tree in and out of the border so i'm not too fussed what's going on just here okay not too fussed just yet okay all right in fact let's grab some of this darker bluey gray color and I'm just going to push it in because what we don't paint over with the, the lighter colours will just become an automatic shadow. Okay, really push that in. In fact, while I'm pushing this in, you can like the video if you want, you know, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Happy days. Right, with a little bit of bluey grey down at the bottom and the base, uh, we're going to put in some, some simple evergreen trees, same colour. And we're just pushing onto the side. I hope you can see that pretty okay. We're just going to push in a few trees like so. Change the flavour of the paint every now and again. And we'll push in another one or two there. If I, just for the purpose of the video, we'll make it a touch darker like that. Okay, these big stringy evergreeny kind of trees. Okay, if that's a, if that's a word. Okay, but we're going to mist out the base every time we put a layer of trees in um because it's going to be cut off about there i think okay we'll grab another you could do this with a, any kind of brush really a one inch brush two inch brush or something hey there's something i would like to show you this brush i've had about four years okay and it was all crudded up and, and dirty and couldn't use it and i cleaned it i used uh i used oven cleaner to clean it and i thought mm, Wow, and uh, I put it on a little video. So if you're interested in that video, it'll be up in the top corner at some point in the video. So anyway, there we go. Just a little top tip there. Right, a little bit more there. And I'm going to have a bigger one, possibly breaching the tree line up there. It's gone a bit wonky, this one, but it's all right. It's there like so. Nice, cool blue colours. Okay, and... We'll put in some more like that, like so. Okay, I'm going to have a bigger tree, I think. It's going to come down there like that, and then there. All right, so anything around there will be a brucey bonus. Like that, look at that. It's a bit stronger. Same colour, just, just put on a little bit stronger. I'm just touching on and lifting slightly up, okay? Right, well, we've got that going. I'm going to get a soft brush dip it into a touch of titanium white and then just hit the base like that you see and then just keep tapping tap up into your trees and because it's such a soft brush it's a blender brush okay it'll just miss them out into nothing okay it'll miss them away and that's what i'm after such a misty christmas holiday kind of painting okay bit on this one as well We'll torment that around there as well, like so. There we go. OK, 
Okay, like that. So we're gonna have a street lamp here. Do we want another tree? I think we do, why not? Why not? Let's get a bigger fan brush if I can. Not that big. That big will do. Excuse me. Okay, bigger fan brush. Same colours. Okay. And we'll put this one here. Wow. There, like that. Right over that tree there. Okay. And then it comes down there. Make it a bit darker at the base. Just a touch darker. There. Okay, like that. And all this furry stuff that's coming off your fan brush will give the indication of like snowy, frozen leaves and, and things, which is awesome. So what I'm wanting. Okay, that's what I'm wanting. I think I've got a bit more control over the tiny fan brush. This just want to create smiley faces. Okay, like that there. All right. Maybe something else on the other side of the lamp. There, maybe. Straight over that. See, that's why I wasn't too bothered or fussed about the backgroundy material. There, like so. And it comes down. Fill in that part there, like so. You won't see most of that part. It's going to be covered in uh, a little bit of a little bit of everything, really, I suppose. That again, same thing again, grab your blender, touch of white, hit the base, blend it away, blend it away. There we go. Just skip off some foliage just at the base here, just, just off the fan brush, just a little bit of something for the floor. Just where we've got that brush going and I'm gonna take a lint-free tissue. Let's work on some of these lamps, okay? So just rub off some of that excess paint and dab on the blue as well, okay? Just take off that, that blue paint that's around. We want a nice little glow there, okay? Get rid of that, get a new piece. And where should we put the other one? It will be, the path's changed direction really since the initial thoughts. So it will be about there, so there, yeah. Oops, okay, right. Palette knife, palette knife, okay. It's exposing that black canvas underneath, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, I've got some cad yellow and white mixed. I'm just gonna put it on, okay. Just roughly where the lamp is gonna be, okay. And allow it to sit, okay. Allow it to just take hold for a, for a bit, okay. This one, not so much because it's further away, but, but we'll put a bit on anyway there like that okay just allow it to sit into the painting okay and then we can tease it in and out of course we don't want a green light all right okay it's a bit of a bad thing green light and red light yeah okay we just want a nice warm yellow light okay uh, maybe take it across there maybe a bit in there maybe spill a bit Put it across there maybe oh yes i like that impact that that's got okay let that sit and then we can work with that in a moment let's work on the path okay so what uh what we had on there nothing just a bit of blue color so i'm going to take a touch of titanium white okay and i'm going to skip in a path now i'm gonna go oh i've got a bit of red in there a bit of crimson Okay, don't want red that far back in this composition, but it's about there. We'll go for it. Okay, and then I'm just going to work on this. Really bring some of those colours into the composition like that with the white. Okay, of course, you can see a little bit of that black canvas underneath. That's no problem. That's no problem. Most of this will be blended out anyway give us a nice gray color i just want to get some whites on the go really push it in and make your path wider than than you want it because it will shrink when you landscape around there um, and your landscape starts to grow so make it a little bit wider than you want and obviously wider at the foreground than it is in the background and pay close attention to angles. See, watch, 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 watch. If I go like that, 
we've got a pretty steep path so we want it wide so there like that brush strokes angles it all pays all right there we go now what i'm going to do is just going to tease this together let's grab let's grab a clean brush use this one eh? and then just blend it together my nice clean bob ross paint brush there we go look at that coming alive already okay let's work on this little lamplight so very soft dry delicate brush and i'm just going to touch and tap and bounce just beat it like a little tiny drum okay and as i'm beating i'm going to work outwards okay just very gently work around and what you'll get then is like a little halo okay just be and then we may even go into the foliage just take it over the top of the foliage as well like that okay because it's very soft and we're doing very very little to the painting here it kind of works okay it kind of works it diffuses and gives the indication that there's a, a light source just there you can see i've done it small in small form there okay don't be doing strokes don't be brush stroking everything on or, or things like that just just gently 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 there okay we will put some of this yellow color in the composition as well as just on the lights as well for balance as well as reflected light okay let me get uh, a paintbrush okay and a little bit of thinned out gray paint okay gotta be careful here okay thinned out gray paint it's really dark gray so i'm just gonna put my hand there and we're gonna have the base of the lamp just about there okay before i paint this in i'm going to take a step back um uh, before i paint this the, the, the stem in because i want it to be square and equal and even okay there we'll put some on there a little bit of a cap on top even though we've got a cap we're gonna have like that we're gonna fill it full of snow as well so we'll put a little bit of color down and then we can hit it with a bit of snow okay like that and then maybe a bit of something underneath uh, and let me take a step back and then we'll pull straight down so we're just going to take the brush and we're going to put it on there and straight down straight down widen up the, the base of the the lamp light on this snowy Christmas night. That. There. Okay, don't worry about this. This be shadow work and stuff. Okay, a little bit of something up here. Okay, where the lamp light is going to go. And do we go there? I think we do now. Like that. Before we get carried away with the path, let's put a little bit of a fence up okay um so we want it going around here so i think we'll have a post just about there okay right then we can work around it really this is just a brown with a bit of crimson and a bit of red thrown in there a bit of blue okay just throw it in there and i'm making it a bit wonky as well i don't really want it all square i want it to have some some kind of character in, in in this okay fence posts get smaller as they get away from us right around this corner just so you can't even see okay let's do some coming back all right we want somewhere where the little robin to sit so we'll start off about here there and it comes around this corner there like that okay again get bigger and further apart maybe and we'll put another one there but we're gonna have this tree here right so let's get a bit of thin oil and a bit of gray okay and we'll just lighten one side up okay maybe 
to the two blue in that one there like that and there and there and there and just continue to do this like so put in my hand and i've covered this with linseed oil so we're gonna have to uh, wash the old hands later as i always do anyway right so we've got that involved right um we're going to put some snow on top of the uh on top of the posts and the top of the, the lamp in a moment uh let's grab let's grab the palette knife okay grab the palette knife and i'm just going to go into that same woody color with a bit of gray involved okay just like so and i'm just gonna we'll start off here okay and then i'm just gonna go across and just put in a little plank or two there like that it comes around this way so with the point of the knife put it in and again make them a bit iggledy piggledy there there like that of course we can fill it in a little bit more if we need to like that there we're getting somewhere let's work on this big tree uh, brown ah, right. Van Dyke Brown and Burnt Umber very closely related actually um, but we're going to put uh, uh, this tree on and it's going to go there just like that how easy is that it's going to go in and out of the border if you've seen a couple of my uh, short videos lately or a couple of videos that I did a couple of years ago okay where it's just this on a black and white canvas that is where i take the inspiration it's one of my favorite paintings i painted it many many years ago um for a great lady who sadly passed away and uh and and, and every now and again i have to just pick up the brushes and paint it a similar style uh, uh, of this painting again anyway so we'll put a bit of brown in there like that now, the reason why I want to get the trunk involved before um, I put any of the snow on, I'm going to splatter the snow first and then I can paint the border. OK, but we need some twigs and sticks and all sorts up here. So let's just roll some around, maybe cut across the top of the trees like that. Like so. OK, then we can just get a bit of grey and white. And we can start to highlight this thing okay just highlight it like that it's gone right over the fence that's all right we know it's there we know it's there we've worked on it haven't we so we haven't lost anything there so i'm just using the colors that are on the palette and that way when we come to paint the, the second part of this tree it'll be nice and easy and without having to mix colors again okay there like that and uh, maybe a little something up here. This looks a bit thick, this paint. So we'll just go for it, see what it does. There, like so. Okay, let's put some sticks and uh, foliage and stuff like that on there. Need to find a line of brush. So some twigs, just pull them off. And, uh, <laughs> you know, just, just add some twigs and stuff. I'm going to put a touch of foliage on there like that let's have some snow before we work on the border all right palette knife old fan brush and i'm just gonna flick 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 and uh this is why i'm doing it this way uh then we can paint over the border so all the internals of the the painting the composition will be done okay or we might just leave it actually speckled on the border i don't know yet we'll see how it looks as we're going back Okay, so I've just thinned it out slightly. Don't want much up here, just to, just enough to give it a little indication that it's snowing. Okay, you get any big lumps that come off or any dribbly bits, we can we can just easily knock them back into the composition with a with a bit of blendery action. But just a little bit of snow, of course, down over the the lamp and onto the path as well, over the back of the trees. It will push everything back and make everything look all oh, Christmassy. I do love Christmas painting. It's one of my favorite things. What I've done is I've just painted over the whole border with a very dark bluey purpley color, okay? With a little thin amount of linseed oil. Now, uh, I took the tree in and out of the border. We haven't removed the masking tape, but we will. Now, 
I'm putting the snow, I've decided to put the snow on the outside as well. The snow I've thinned down with a little bit of paint thinner and that will have a little bit of a violent reaction with the, uh, the linseed oil and it'll give it like a nice misty uh, snow globe effect all going to plan. So I'm just going to coat the whole of the thing now with this with this snow spray. Okay, I've uh, got to be careful here because I'm covering the whole of the desk and the paints and the palette and everything, the brushes. So make sure you give all your brushes a really good clean afterwards. You know, uh, there we go. So just coat the whole thing and then we'll get ready to take off the masking tape. Moment of truth time. Okay, let's, let's start to remove the masking tape board. And I've got to be careful here. Uh, a lot of wet paint on this masking tape. Certainly don't want it going anywhere near the painting. Okay, so be careful at this. Come on. There we go. Get rid of that side. Look at that. Nice, bright, vibrant white border. Like so. Oh, there we go. Get rid of that. Throw that in the bin. Okay, what we can do now is take this tree and go in and out of the board. And now do we go out and then in and then out again? I think we'll have this one coming out. Okay, so back to the brush that had the, the browns on it. Okay, and we're just going to just take this in there like that. Go straight over. Okay, there. Like so. Okay. Leave a little space for these darker colours. So I'll grab a little bit more blacks and browns there. Like so, a bit more of a dark black on there. All right, I've left a space on the top of the back there just for a little bit of a little bit of snow and stuff on there. Like that it goes around in. Okay, so we need a couple to come out. So not all of them. All right, so we'll take. Uh, this one will come up there like this. I'm just using the side of the brush. There, like that. And we'll get some twigs on the go. Maybe this one here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we'll come this way. Okay, that one looks like it goes up, up there. And we shall bring this one out as well. And that'll intertwine with the composition. Right, let's finish this tree off. Just painting on the fence post, my little friend, the little Robin Redbreast. And I think we have got a finished Christmas painting, a winter painting. If you've enjoyed this one, please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.